Good morning, welcome to today's video. It's a tad windy. 22, 24 mile an hour, 38 mile an hour gusts. I'm heading with a crosswind mainly, and I've sat out and I've gone far too fast. I've averaged 17 miles an hour to this point, and it's not with a tailwind actually mainly crosswind a little bit of tailwind a little bit of headwind but today I've picked a route which is mainly crosswind which is a break from tradition because normally when it's this windy I just ride straight into it and try and go as far as I could before I knack myself and turn around stay with me front of me I've got what is probably my biggest climb of the day so it's a good one to get out of the way however I know when I get to the top of that hill it's pretty exposed and I'm basically gonna go along a little bit straight with a crosswind then turn 90 degrees into a glorious headwind oh. Got to get to the top of there. So, almost to the top. It's just looming, but great views behind. But as suspected, now I'm on the top with pretty open fields. It's gone windy. And in a mile or so, I'm gonna have to turn into it. So I've just arrived at the highest point of this section of the ride, going into this headwind. And I have in front of me one of the best viewpoints of the ride. I'm in Gelston village, and I have in front of me a rather wonderful vista across the Trent Valley. but it's bloody windy. I have a foam cover on the GoPro and I have a feeling if I took that off, you would really hear the wind. I had planned this morning to do 50 miles but I may not. It is seriously windy up here. I don't know if you'll even hear this. thoughts and uh, reasoning for this route is I'm about to head on a very long downhill stretch full on into the wind so at least all I'm getting into the wind what would normally be a 30 mile an hour descent will be easy mile into the wind I'm just about to ride into the village of Hoffham. Not Howham, Hoffham, which one of my viewers is shortly going to be moving to. I've been planning him some routes, mainly involving coffee stops. Strange that, isn't it? That's the Hoffham, phone box, defib and library. All in one, all in one space saving unit. So 
wind update. Still there. I had a good few miles now riding into it. And uh, I don't know if it's that be strength, don't it? My average speed has dropped <laughs> considerably. Came through a little bit of rain, but there are some little patches of blue sky. The sun's up there somewhere. I don't know if it's gonna make an appearance. But I do wish the wind would make a disappearance. 20 miles in now to what should have been a 50 mile ride. I think it might end up a 40. It's very tiring. So wind update. Finally, I've turned around and I've now got the tailwind. Almost 25 miles in, heading for home. Heading for home via the co-op preferred supplier to Richard Lake Cycling. Preferred supplier to every Audax rider. <laughs> so I'm just cruising along with tired legs on a very slight downhill coasting with a tailwind doing 15 miles an hour. Oh. <laughs> After the last hour, that's heavenly, I can tell you. So, time to stop for sustenance. Food in equals energy, yeah? Free bike repair station. It's the kind of thing we like, isn't it? So, energy topped up courtesy of the co op. So, it's back out into the wind on the way home. So, thank you for joining me on this windy ride so that you didn't have to. <laughs> I shall see you again in a few days time thanks for watching and supporting from your sofa see you soon bye that was timed rather well wasn't it